Alright. Fucking 96 million that I don't have. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sexual harassment cop. Weird name, but seems like it's a pretty. Oh, for fuck's sake. Awesome. Is there a fucking tier level for these? Like, what, what, what zone am I supposed to go for next? Because this is just stupid. I guess it'll be Electronics King, but what the fuck? Oh, I was... I got distracted by hilarious kills and burning people alive that I forgot to go check out the fucking CP shrine. What have we here? Shit that I don't need. Limit Breaker, which is for the fourth fighting style, which you absolutely need, but I don't have use for at the moment. Eh, fuck it. Well, it's even faster now. And now, uh, oh fuck. Do I have the juice for this? Not really, no. Well, uh, this way. You know, navigating Kamurocho is not easy. Navigating Sultan Bori? No problem. Mostly. Get the fuck out of the way then! You know, I wouldn't have a problem if just bowling people over and that was it. No, instead you, they gotta fucking slap you sideways. Pain in my ass. And I'm gonna skip this upgrade scene. Alright. Got some decent shit. Wait a fuck a minute. How much CP do I still need? How much CP do I still need that this I can get 80 plus more? Jeez. 170 more? It I can't possibly use all of that. I thought. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll see. Uh, where am I going? Kirijima. And maybe find some other place to buy. Uh, 92? I should be able to manage something, right? <laughs> Amusement game you. A. Hmm. I wonder if that red number is normal or if I'm about to get fucked over. I suppose the other thing that I could do would be go finish out Tatsu shit. Oh, this has got to be one, right? Or not. Oh, this is the section of town I can't buy. Let's go see what the mushroom man needs. Uh, holy shit. 
What? What is this? It's Buna Shimeji? Uh, Buna what? That's not the mushroom we want. No shit, fuckface. Sorry, you may have gotten the wrong idea, but we only sell regular mushrooms here. Huh? Give me the shrooms. Sure. Fucking blonde Agent Smith. Mm. That's Kirijima the sh- For fuck's sake, Kiryu. Same alley. Someone causing shit bitching in my ear because of the camera angle? I came a long way be I came a long way because I heard you had quality shrooms. What gives? Well, our mushrooms are of the finest quality, but they're just mushrooms with no special properties. Hmm. It's no use. He doesn't understand. What am I gonna do? Oh, I know. <laughs> Miraculous mushrooms, marvelous mushrooms. Enoki Shitaki Porcini. For magnificent mushrooms, your man is Kitajima. I, I still don't get that. <laughs> You're dead. Sure. Looks like I'm gonna get dragged into this mess again. Although... For the second time in a row... I'm gonna save somebody's ass before saving Kitajima. Because, of course, this spot has to be the fucking spot that all sort of bullshit happens. <laughs> yeah, I've done it fucking twice now. Because this fucking spot always has some of these assholes in it. Ooh. Uh, aha. Fuck you. And your fucking Bagua, fuck your fucking Cobra style, whatever the fuck. No one cares. Just drop dead. Wow, that was worthless. And back over. Wow. May as well. Hey. Oh, Kiryu-san. Again. What? You. How do we get this guy to cough up the good stuff? He's just a regular mushroom seller. If you want the other kind of mushroom, try somewhere else. It's too late for talk. We can't back down now. Says fucking who, you dumb bitch. Too bad. You're obstructing his business, so I'm gonna have to ask you to leave before I remove you myself. <laughs> You'll regret this. Kill him. Sure. Oh, goody. Holy shit. Well, fuck. Ah! This one's name is Smith. There's no making that up. Oh, well, fuck you, Smith. And give me your gun. Because your buddies are fucking dying. Fucking hell. Eat shit and fucking die. Fuck you, fucking stun baton, you bitch monkey motherfucker. Actually, hmm. Oh, fuck. Piece of fucking dog shit. Fuck you to death. Now I'm gonna fucking kick you in the balls until you fucking die. Or maybe I can fucking hit you with a stun gun. Or not. Whatever. Dick kick it is. Ooh. Wiped out. Unbelievable. Thanks for helping me again, Kiryu-san. Mm, sure. Looks like they thought you were selling hallucinogenic bullshit again, huh? Yeah, I guess the theme song didn't really help. What's it gonna take? You getting the fuck out of this back alley, you dumb bitch. I just want people to know I have the tastiest mushrooms in Japan. What? Wait, the tastiest mushrooms in Japan? Hey, let me try one. You fucking serious. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, sure. Here, I have a fucking shiitake. Ah. <laughs> wow. Sure. What is this mushroom? Uh, just one of my mushrooms. Kirijima's mushrooms. Well, which fucking one, dumbass? Was it an Oki? I have my own special technique. Is it grown in your own shit? That mushroom reminded me of the old days in Naples. I used to be a chef there many years ago. Nice fucking trope. <laughs> yeah, his his eyes are bad. I was well known in Naples back then. I worked every day to try and make the best pasta in all of Europe. I perfected the idea of uh, the idea al dente pasta. Mm, sure. Problem was the sauce. I could never find mushrooms worthy of my pasta. I visited mushroom sellers every day. <laughs> so he's gonna fucking. I'm sure. What's interesting is Japan has this this weird obsession with fusion cuisine, which I guess only seems weird from the outside and would be kind of hypocritical as an American because we do the same shit and fucking Chinese takeout garbage food and the butchery that we have done to to sushi but the Japanese had this odd obsession with Italian food so they just take you know they make pasta teriyaki essentially and it's weird it's weird I never found the right mushroom. My restaurant was losing money. My girl left me. I grew to hate pasta. Yeah, well. I gave up and took took over the family. <laughs> sure. I gave up and took over the family business, the mafia. I see. Uh, I had to wait for him to stop nodding. But I finally found it, the ideal mushroom to go with my pasta. I should be able to make the finest pasta in Europe now. Kirijima, would you come back to Italy with me? <laughs> we'll take Europe by storm with the best mushroom pasta ever. Mm -hmm. What? This is all so oh. sudden. But if I went to Europe with you, I bet I could get lots of people to try my mushrooms. Kiryu-san, I... Uh, go ahead. Don't fucking worry about me. Your mushrooms are useless to me. <laughs> you need to listen to what your heart tells you. Hi. Hmm, yeah. Okay. I'll go with you if it means I can show more people how good my mushrooms are. <laughs> wow. Grazie. Thank you, Kitajima. Still, I'm a little worried. I think my mushrooms are the best in Japan, but I don't know if people will like them overseas. <laughs> huh, show some confidence. Remember what you always say? Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> For magnificent mushrooms, Kitajima's your man. And it's a fucking... The end of an 80s TV show episode. Actually, that's what half of these quest, the quests, endings, the sub-stories, endings are. Is it another victim, or just asshole standing there? Just asshole standing there. I don't care. Uh... Business? Pay out ready? How much money do I have? Only 35? That's not gonna work. $2 the question is, do I have any other outstanding side quests? I don't think I do, actually. Oh. Now. Oh, there is one that just became available. Aha. Okay. I guess I'll do that next. Yeah, yeah, shut the fuck up. Oh, uh, where am I going? Well, hell. Maybe I'll fucking trigger it first. Nah, I guess not. And here we go. 
Yep. You piece of fucking dog shit. I'm gonna shit your fucking mouth. Fuck you to death. You fucking scum. Fucking blocked, you fucking piece of shit. Eat shit and fucking die. Fucking revolting. Oh look, asshole three. You, you were the Shermer. You're the mafia boss who took Kirijima the Shermer to Europe. Yes, yes. Kirijima and I were working together every... Every day, even though you literally just fucking left. Couldn't have even gotten out of Tokyo yet. Working, every day, working together every day to create the, uh, the number one mushroom pasta in all of Europe. What's Kirijima up to now? Uh, I don't know. Going to the airport? Are you still in Europe making mushrooms? Man's got talent. I see. And what are you doing back at Kamarocho? Well, that's the thing. Kirijima had such a head for business that I've run out of things to do at work. <laughs> wow. I asked Kirijima for some time off and came back here. Back to where it all started. For sure. Uh, he your boss now? But I'm starting to get bored with playing tourist in Kamarocho by myself. I'm looking for excitement. Is there anything exciting going on? Well, sure, should not working for real estate. Can't think of anything. Uh, can't really think of anything. Unless, would you be interested in joining the security staff at my company? Security? Uh, that sounds like fun. Break some motherfuckers' necks. Sure. It's just what I need to get my killer instinct. Get back my killer instinct after making pasta all the time. I'm sure. Whatever. Whoa, buddy. Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't tasted the blood of my enemies in a long while. I can't wait. You know, I'm not asking for anything like that, right? Uh, anyway, welcome aboard. Fucking. Whoa. The fucking grotesque demonic laughter that just came out of that building. Well, let's see another one. See in cool red? Urban gray? Yeah, sure, that was well, fucking worth the money. <laughs> ah, everything feels fresh. Um, is it literally just the fucking paint job? You fucking shit me. It's not even the chairs. You fucking brick. Uh, oh, fuck off. Yeah, that happens. Uh, I'm probably pausing the recording again. <laughs> uh, whoops. Not that one. Fuck. 48 million down the drain. Gee, thanks. Wow. 
I'll show you the depths of the Mafia's power and death to those who get in my way. Awesome. It's also a fucking million, so that's not even worth it. Because by the time you have enough for that to be worth it, that's just excessive. Mm. Using Kyo and his star power. Wow. Why the fuck does everything in electronics area count as star? Whatever the fuck star is supposed to be. Go from D to B. I think it did. Or maybe it was C, I don't know. Whatever, not important. Alright. Now uh, oh, fuck. Profit forecast. That's gonna be a loss. Hmm, no. I'll sell with that. Uh. Well, I can't leave the manager empty, can I? That would probably be fucking bad. Now, fucking save. And then head to Mock Bowl because there's something else to trigger. And it seems to be three quest sequence? I think? No, two. The other one's after Electronics King. Which is gonna be a different category of bitch because I'm pretty sure that asshole wants to play fucking arcade. So who the hell knows? Yeah, I mean, the green's nice. The other option is fucking gray. The highest option is gray. Fuck you. But also, I'm pretty sure it's just the wallpaper. Why? Why the fuck did that cost CP? Asshole? Um, well. Let's see about Mock Bowl. Plus, the green matches me. Ish. So, what? Uh No? I fucking saw the message. Why did it not pop up? Try getting the fuck out of the way then. No? Oh, son of a bitch. Of course I was fucking two feet away from it. Had to go run the entire block. Can't tell you how much we appreciate you joining us, Ida Kun. Mm -hmm. Nice ponytail. 
I'm grateful and honored to hear that, sir. I'll give it my all. <laughs> good. Wow. Good, good. That's the spirit. I'm glad we decided to hire some new staff this year, and that someone as qualified as you applied. Hiring new staff, huh? We're still short staffed, among other things. Posting job openings might help. Oh, really? That's where that went? Sure. Whatever. <laughs> and they're just gone. Poof. That is all that was. Now what? Uh-huh. Theoretically, I could see about maybe finishing out the bowling. Well, let's see if the bowling is going to be fucking involved. Making money with the bowling minigame is... It's doable. Not great. The key is to do the hardest one so you recoup your money and then use the bonus. You know, use the rest to get bonus. Is this shit done, lady? I thought you'd never come. Something wrong? Oh, don't tell me you forgot. Forgot to wait for you to finish your fucking animation so I could hit X. The challenge already started. I vaguely recall you saying something about that, so what kind of challenge is it? Get it? Oh, fuck you! prize for getting a turkey in the challenge a turkey you know that'd work in America so you get a turkey for a turkey precisely <laughs> yeah what's hilarious is it, it it it's not a turkey it's a chicken I wonder why it's a chicken but it's a chicken Bowl of turkey and get some delicious turkey to eat. It's perfect for the Christmas season. To be honest, I've never had turkey before. Mm, understandable. Yeah. What, are you serious? That crispy skin, that juicy meat? Nothing beats a plump bird roasted to perfection. You would missing out big time. Roast turkey is the best. She made it sound so good. Now I really want to try it. All right, in that case, I'm up for the challenge. I knew you would be. I hope you do get a turkey, in both meanings of the word. I don't know that I want to try this. Really? You haven't had turkey? I didn't think it would be that com uncommon in England. I've had turkey almost at least once a year, every year, my entire life. I mean, sometimes you might miss one, and then sometimes, you know, the turkey will be on sale, so you end up getting two or three in a year. Hmm. It's pretty good. Uh, well, you have to brine it. You fucking have to brine it. Oh, fuck it. Let's give it a fucking try. Yeah. Split game. Split game, it costs five million yen, but you can make a surprising amount of money if you're actually good at it. The problem is, it is... Yikes. Well, let's fucking give it one try. Which is fucking hilarious, because the first time I tried this, I did it. I clicked the reframe game by accident, not knowing exactly what that meant. And I picked up two spares, and then the, th the final frame, I got three strikes in a row. No bullshit. Didn't record it, but just gonna have to believe me. Now, I want to say... Something like this will actually work. Mm. Oh, fuck you. Oh, 
Oh, shit. Hmm. Well, that's a fantastic hmm. start. Um, no. I remember it being two. I want to say it was two and... That was the key? Nope. No, it wasn't. Fuck me. <sighs> Shit. Mm. This is not going to work. three in a row. I hope it was just three in the one game. Uh, middle. Two clicks. Hmm. Maybe it was the eight pound? No. Uh, the weight of the ball affects the uh this. It affects the speed of that. Which I have no idea. Oh, right. I was supposed to do this. Uh huh. Now, that <laughs> ought to work. Fuck. <sighs> I bet I hit it fast enough. Who knows? Yeah, right? Ah, uh, nope, not that one. Green, that's what it was. And... Mm. Oh, shit. Well, what the fuck? Did I have to turn it more? Or do I have to hit it faster? I don't remember what the hack was. I shouldn't be doing this on a Saturday. I should be doing this on a Wednesday. Oh, fuck you! Hmm. Whatever. Lush ball. Oh, maybe the power is too high. I think it was... Might have been like... 80? Might have been 80. Hmm. Or not. 80 and 3 ticks? Mm. You fucking asshole. I can't bowl at all, so. One, two. Let's try three. Okay. Might have figured it out. Might have ironed it out just in time. Really? I can't bowl for shit. I can't even throw it straight. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, that's probably a little high for three, but... A. Ironed it down. Don't fuck this up. Ah, fuck. Oops. Alright. 
Now. Three. This should be it. Oh, fuck. Why? I was gonna say, why did you... Why did it turn so much? It shouldn't have turned that much. But, uh... Win? Ah, whoops. That's nah, not good. Hmm. Yeah. Ooh. That is a nasty split. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna miss the front pin again. Oh, of course. Ah, well, whatever. I pulled off the goal. Ah, mm. uh, whoops. Oh, fuck you. Toss it. Huh. Of course, there's. You. There was no indicator. If you get a hat trick in the darts, there's a special animation for it. So, why was there no special animation for the turkey? Hmm. Um, that's. Huh. That might not work. Oh, bitch. It didn't say so, but then. I also did. It was three in a row. There you go, six, seven, eight. But no special animation. I call bullshit. Wow, you got a turkey, congratulations. That's what happens when I don't hold back or, you know, when I remember the fucking physics hack. And the special prize for customers who get a turkey is an actual turkey. Here comes my delicious turkey. Hi. So, I won't keep you waiting. Here's your turkey. Mmm, <laughs> a turkey. With a crispy skin, juicy inside, plump bird roasted per to perfection. It's a bit fresher than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, well. We didn't specify when we ordered, and this is what they sent us. And it's not even a turkey. It's a chicken. Look at it. Oh my, you're absolutely right. <laughs> no, no. And wait for it. I said it was going to be a turkey. I said it was going to be a chicken. Wait. How did that happen? Oh, come on. What the fuck am I supposed to do with this? I'm terribly sorry. The least I can do is cook it for you. We've got a kitchen in the back. Is fried chicken okay? Mm. Also, that thing doesn't have wings. You're gonna cook it now? Also, that thing is huge. That's like a 10 pound bird, at least. That means you have to kill this chicken. That's no problem. I grew up on a poultry farm. Oh, you did? No, wait. Give me a minute to think about it. <laughs> um, this chicken. I want to keep it. Huh? You're gonna keep it? As a pet? Uh. Is that not allowed? Yeah. No, it's fine, but I thought you wanted it cooked, you know. Juicy roast chicken with crispy skin? <laughs> well, I can have that some other time. Um, okay then. This is your chicken now. Congratulations. Hello, chicken. Your name will be... Nugget. <laughs> <laughs> The chicken 
is an employee. It's not a pet. Well, I'm kinda glad I got that on camera. Problem is you won't get to see it. You don't see your employees, so. It's not like it's lounging around at the office. That would have been a nice touch. And for a game from 2015, I kind of would have expected it. Oh, and a giant asshole. Alright, get fucked, Mr. Giant Asshole. You fucking prick. Get fucking gut check, bitch. Hey. Eh, not really. And neither is that asshole. Him just fucking eight million. No chicken sitting on the floor waiting to be hired. <laughs> you know, it'd almost make sense if it was security, except for the simple. <sighs> Tell me it's about the chicken. Oh dear. What's the matter? Oh, Mr. President. I was just... Oh. It's the fucking quest. Never mind. I was just thinking about our workload. We're really short on staff. Well, I've got news. <laughs> I was gonna say it would almost make sense if it was security. That the chicken would, you know, you just give the chicken, you know, have a rooster. Give it a territory. And it just fucks shit up for you. Because it's a fucking rabid 15 pound rooster you know but uh, no it's a manager a manager just saying mm. I was thinking the same thing we've been managing more properties these days but our hiring hasn't kept pace so I wanted to ask if it was alright for me to try and recruit some new employees mm. uh, so we'd post a job opening Hi. At this rate, we're going to be hiring chickens and fucking... <laughs> oh, well, that's what I'm saying. Fucking roosters? Yeah, there's a reason cockfighting is a thing. Uh, at this rate, uh... Speaking of cockfighting, I'm still shocked that beetle wrestling isn't a thing in Yakuza. It might be an Ishin, I'm not sure. I haven't looked, but... that That's so fucking Japanese. Instead, you got fucking... Bikini glad bitches and mud wrestling. Mm, fuck off. Give me Hercules Beetles. Matter of fact, give me Hercules Beetles that I gotta raise the fucking thing, that I gotta fucking train it. Give me that mini game. I'll take that. Uh, at this rate, we're gonna be overwhelmed by the workload soon. We should take steps to avoid that now. Mm. Right, I was just thinking it might be good to get some blue blood hitting in here too. <laughs> Although the problem with uh, the chicken being security would be the simple fact that. That would mean that it can show up and help you in street fights. So, if nothing else, they would have to program a chicken kicking some ass alongside you. And I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> uh. Great, go ahead. Make us look good. Although the simple fact that the enemies have so many fucking fighting styles, one of these assholes had Drunken Fist. Drunken Fist! What the fuck? So, I mean, I guess they could have. I'm gonna have to have you handle the applicant interviews, Mr. President. Mm -hmm. Interviews? Me? I can't do that. What are you talking about? You're the head of this company. You're definitely on the hook for this. Mm. Mm, sure. Okay, you're doing it, Mr. President. 
I'll let you know when you get any incoming applicants, so please be ready. Got it. Sure. Fuck. Ah, hold on. What the fuck does that mean? Ooh, economy down. Fuck. Off. Fuck off, you piece of shit. Literally, I had to throw money at the problem for that one. So I guess security does matter then, but... Well, what the fuck does that fucking mean? The game never explained that. Can explain that I don't know what that means. Uh, oops. <laughs> It'd be even funnier if the chicken was an advisor. You just send the chicken off to go scream at somebody for having their business be shit. What the fuck that means. You guys are fine. You guys are not fine. So apparently security does fucking matter. Send Kikuchi then to go help with the Alright, you're fine. <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh staff. Actually, yeah. Only 300,000, that's on the lower end. Three stars, that's pretty good. And... The the economic influence doesn't really matter all that much, but that's a pretty decent distribution, considering the alternatives. So, what the fuck does there's trouble fucking mean? Game never fucking explained that. Or if it did, it was a fucking single page on 20 pages of bullshit. Uh-huh. Uh. Mildly confused. Mildly, mildly confused. Um... That's five. That's four. I don't know what the fuck that means. But we're gonna go fucking find out. Oh, bitch, get out the way. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, well. I can go around this way. Hold out the way. 
And of course, some assholes are. Eh, well. Alright, what the fuck? Oh. Hooligans causing problems in the area around here. Should I deal with them how? Well, fuck. Well, screw me sideways. You're that Kiryu guy from Yamanoi's house, right? Yeah, I heard there were some guys causing trouble around here. I need you to stop. You got balls, but this isn't your ballroom. So does your boss. Just dumb joke. Uh, this is the Pleasure King's gig. You ain't the queen here. Oh, fucking sumo? What the fuck? You know what? Come here, asshole. Well. So much for these assholes being strong. Or not. Fuck you to death, you piece of fucking shit. Would you fucking hit these assholes, Kiryu? Doesn't help my health was it fucking half to begin with. Come here, fuckface. Prick. That music was different. Water off a duck's back, right? Sweet, I was able to solve the problem. Now all I have to do is wait for the prophet to come turning back on. Wow, that was... I didn't even read that weird. That was just weird. Wait for the prophet to come turning back on. That is what I fucking read, isn't it? Uh, nope. That's a fucking shitty shuggy place. That's a stupid store. Fuck. Go fuck yourself. That normally costs less than 500. That was just 10,000. That asshole can eat shit. Can I buy anything here? The restaurant was free. Oh, this is... Hmm. Um, well, if I head east... Beijing Chinese Eatery. Lovely Bunny. Tenpo Sushi. Pachinko, Pachinko. I should be able to find a pachinko parlor. They're not exactly quiet. <laughs> An odd situation. Seeing the food reminds you of how thirsty you are. And, aha! Asai number three. Bunch of bars, those tenants. Hey, just barely afford it. Cool. I can work with that. And that was a big chunk. 5%? Yo. Alright, fuckheads. <laughs> really? Thank you. Drop dead. 
eat shit and then rip. I said eat shit and die. There we go. <laughs> Here's this shit. I love that. Fucking co-op kills. If your partner grabs somebody, they'll fucking power bomb them, and then you stomp their face into out of existence. And here's some more. I'll probably hit it again eventually. Big headbutt. Now. Now, unfortunately, uh, this is gonna fucking trigger the quest, but. Oh well. Get in the hole. Thank you. You've done it, Mr. President. We've taken over. Ah, oh, fuck. Great. <laughs> Let's keep increasing our share. Uh. Yeah, speaking of which, what can you tell me about this electronics king guy? If I remember correctly, he looked like an otaku. Hey. The electronics king is a member of the five billionaires who controls the area around Nakamichi Street. He apparently has an IQ of 190 and has made his fortune by developing and investing in cutting edge technology. 90. An IQ of 190, that's something. Never would have guessed it from the look of him. Yeah. That's not the only surprise. He's also supposed to be quite good at fighting, despite appearances. Mm. The word is that a bunch of young thugs who considered that area to be their turf fought the Electronics King, but wound up joining his crew instead. So he's got brains, brawn, and a gang for when those fail. Yeah. Yes. Since we'll be making moves on their territory, we'll probably wind up crash clashing with them often. So Electronics King managed to tame a bunch of young thugs. He's got an IQ 90. Better watch out. Why? Why did you just reiterate the? Whatever. There we go. Uh. Okay. The options don't fucking matter. Uh. Sure, I'll interview the candidate. Great, let's get going then. Oh, but wait a minute. You're not gonna con- The fuck's wrong with it, bitch? Sure I am. So? Well, you don't really look like the president of a company. We'll need to make you look more dignified and sagacious? The fuck you said? Saggy what? What does that have to do with anything? No, not saggy. You know, sagacious. Like, intelligent? Oh, I know. Ah, put the glasses back on. Sure. Why not? <laughs> Those glasses you left lying around really suit you. Mm, sure. They make you look both dignified and intelligent. Mm. Didn't expect to be wearing these again, actually. Looks like we're all set. I'll call on the applicant. Mm, sure. Whatever you say, lady. The applicant will be here soon. Please evaluate him and see if he's really motivated to work for us. And I just stopped the timer. Fucking 15 seconds left, I caught it. Test for motivation, right. Hi. Yes. Apparently there are applicants out there who only attend interviews to get... Cab fare from companies? Mm. Are people really sinking into scams that low? Don't worry, I can spot people like that a mile away. Where does that confidence come from? Uh, I don't know. Fucking years of street smarts? Why doesn't he come in? You have to tell him to come in, dumbass. No applicant would just enter without permission. No, I don't get it. Please, just tell him to come in. He'll hurt his knuckles if he has to keep knocking. Well, you know, the office is just somebody's fucking apartment. Whoa. Haruhiko Ijuin? The fuck kind of name is that? Ijuin. 
Haruhiko, okay, fine, that's normal. Ijuin. I'm honored to meet you. Yes, likewise. <laughs> Doesn't he see the chair? Why doesn't he sit down? You have to invite him to sit. No job seeker would take a seat without being asked. Also, why the fuck is it just a random ass folding chair? Grab one from the table. Daddy. What the hell is this about? Is this supposed to be funny? He's not fooling around. Job stickers are dead serious. Please, let him sit. Uh, I'm sure. Did the table fucking disappear? Is it not there? This is already exhausting. <laughs> is this going to go on much longer? It hasn't even begun. At least ask him a few questions. You need to determine if he would be a good fit with us. A question, huh? Uh. Wow. You know, I should have picked one of the joke ones. I should have just went for it. Hi. Why did you apply with this? Real estate is a business that serves one of the three basic human needs. Food, clothing, and shelter. Uh, it's one that closely tied people's daily lives. Someone working in such an industry would have to be trustworthy. They also have to bear a great responsibility. That is where I see a worthwhile challenge. Like the mafia boss and the fucking chicken. And, you know, Steven Spielberg and Michael Jackson. Sure. Sure, buddy. I've also heard that your firm isn't afraid to put new recruits in charge of accounts right away. Including our newest recruit, Nugget. Uh, I felt this job would give me a great opportunity to really grow. <laughs> wow, that little speech rolled right off his tongue. He must have practiced it a lot. Hmm. I'm impressed, Mr. President. You can actually run an interview. <laughs> Please keep going and see if Ijuin san is the sort of person who would work who would work out for us. Uh, Got it. I'm gonna try to ask him next. Next. You know? I mean, that doesn't seem like a bad question. Fuck it. Have you ever experienced failure? Uh, failure? Hmm. No, not not especially. I feel like I can deal with just about anything life throws it throws my way. So no, I can't really know. Say I know what it's like to fail. Uh, Must be especially blessed, or maybe he's just lucky. Who knows? Huh. Could I ask all the wrong questions before the right questions? Shit. Should I ask him what color his underwear was? <laughs> what are your strengths? Hi. Well, I'm fluent in English. Lived in the States as a child, so I can manage most business dealings in English. <laughs> also, I was the head of our university's tennis club. What does that fucking matter? I often organized events and socials. I think it made me a good planner and organizer. <laughs> Those appear to be very communicative. It, he seems to... Seems like he has many friends, too. Yeah, maybe. Uh, oh! Okay. Ejuin, if you were to join my company, would you be willing to do anything? Meanwhile, that was going to be the first question I asked, because that one seems like the stupidest, to be honest. Yes, I eagerly await being able to exceed your expectations. So, anything? Hi. Yes, absolutely. I came to this interview to prove just how dedicated I can be. What could you kill? <laughs> <laughs> that seems to be the fucking the running theme. Because all the fucking senior Yakuza assholes asking the kids who've never killed if they can kill. Isn't that amazing? There's no hesitation at all. He sounds primed and ready to go. I'll hand him a gun and see what he says. I think that's about all the questions we have for you. Ejuin-san, do you have any questions for us? Uh... Questions? Uh... 
No, nothing in particular. Oh, yes. Actually, I heard that your firm makes hiring decisions on the spot. Is that true? Hi. Well, well, I suppose. Yes, you heard right. The president and I would like to confer about it. So, if you could just give us a moment. What shall we do? Should we hire him? Huh? We decide now? Right now? Hi. Yes, the longer it takes, the more moral cost. Can't afford to sit on our decisions. Mm. How tight-fisted can you be? <laughs> Edwin san was eloquent in describing why he wants to join us. He can also speak English, plan events, and works well with people. What shall we do? Ah, uh, I guess? It doesn't say anything about this. So then, eh? I'm sure. <laughs> really? Thank you very much. Congratulations. Please take this for your cab fare. Wouldn't, shouldn't that have been discussed? Yeah. Wonder what you'll be paying me. Uh, nothing. I just got lost in my own thoughts. It's really nothing. I know it's short notice, but we'd like to have you start tomorrow, if you can. Does that work for you? Hi. Certainly. I'll see you bright and early. Hmm. Don't be disappointed. The next day. Mm. Ito Insan is awfully late. Fucking feels theme, really? Uh. Yeah, maybe he forgot. I'll call him at home. Uh. Yeah, thanks. I hope he didn't get into an accident or anything. What? Oh no. What's wrong? It says the number you've called is not in service. Daddy. You fucking want me. <sighs> oh dear, we were totally conned. He must have come in just to get the cab fare out of us. Mm. Should have asked him what color his underwear was. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. But he was able to tell us why he wanted to join us with such eloquence. I guess we weren't very good judges of character. You'll have to start over. I'll put out more wanted ads. Uh. Yeah, thanks. I'm sure a thing. That guy completely fooled me. I can't make the same mistake again. Well, I mean... It said it didn't matter. It said do whatever the hell you wanted. Lying bastards. 